Thank you for playing this fun piece, The Coconut Rag by Christopher Norton. This ragtime piano style has been around for a long time. Since the early 1900s, American composer Scott Joplin led the way with the ragtime piano style. There are two very famous rags you may already know, The Entertainer and The Maple Leaf Rag. They're both by Scott Joplin. pattern. And then the third one is that you have a syncopated or off the main beat right hand melodic idea. So in Coconut Rag, Norton uses all of these features. So let's look first of all at how he marks the tempo. At the very top of your page you're going to see the tempo marked brightly. So let's think about what is a bright tempo. If I played this at... not very brightly. Oh, I'm going to try quicker. And suddenly it's a little more bright. Now he also writes this piece in cut time. Cut time is a C with the line through it and it means 2-2. Two, two. So if I were to play this in common time or 4-4 four, four, I might give it pulses like this. into cut time, I have less emphasis. I have only two pulses per bar. And do you feel how it automatically gets lifted? Sounds more upbeat. Um, the second feature of ragtime piano music that Christopher Norton uses can be found right at the very beginning. The left hand just has this accompaniment figure. He doesn't do too much. But at measure number nine, Christopher Norton switches this up and suddenly your left hand has a melody. Hmm. Christopher Norton also writes più forte. That means more loud, more bright. So if I were to take it from measure number five, I want you to listen for this handing off or the passing off of the melody between my right hand over to my left hand. Here's measure five. And, and it goes back and forth between the two hands. All right, the third feature of ragtime piano style is a syncopated right hand. So when you hear the melody in the first line, you're going to hear two spots where the right hand does not enter with the downbeat or beat one. So measure one it does. And this offbeat feeling is what makes ragtime music so exciting and fun to play. Now, as you go through this piece, you're going to notice a lot of different dynamic contrasts. Not just the forte at measure nine, but also at the very end of the piece, piano and pianissimo. Have a listen. softer and softer and softer so that we think oh this is a quiet ending and then after all those rests he does that and it's very important that we count those rests because we want the audience to think are they done are they done <gasps> now they're done <gasps> so be careful not to shortchange those rests at all 
you've really made fine progress on this performance. All of your groundwork has been beautifully laid. You have clean notes, clean rhythm. Um, your articulation patterns are very precise. Now, take this performance to the next level with that quicker tempo, the two pulses per bar, even sharper staccato notes. Because if our staccatos are too weighty, they sound like this. And that's not as interesting as... And then lastly, those vivid dynamic contrasts, particularly at the ending, this piece is going to be so exciting. Thank you very much for playing for us today.